In this lesson, we will talk about visualizing three notes per string major scale patterns using the Nandy method of fourths. Since there are seven notes in the major scale, we can have seven patterns, each starting from one of the seven degrees of the major scale. There is a total of 18 notes in each pattern, given that there are three notes on each of the six guitar strings. If you are not familiar with the concept of fourths, we suggest watching the lesson Major Scale in Fourths by clicking the link in the top right corner of this video. Let's take a look at the interval pattern below, which is made up of the 12 chromatic intervals rearranged in the order of fourths. The major scale is comprised of seven natural intervals, which when ordered in fourths reads 7, 3, 6, 2, 5, 1, 4. Let's talk about the fourth interval of five half steps. There is a perfect fourth interval between all intervals in the major scale, except for the augmented fourth between the notes on the fourth and seventh scale degrees. An augmented fourth is simply a fourth raised by a half step, which is commonly referred to as a tritone. The chart of fourths displayed here shows the flat seven, a perfect fourth from four as a gray diamond. Beginning a half step above flat seven, which is seven, we will find a consecutive pattern of perfect fourth intervals that belong to the major scale. They are seven, three, six, two, five, one, four. A perfect fourth from any note is on the same fret on an adjacent string, and one fret higher when the adjacent string is B, due to the major third tuning of the B string. However, due to the augmented fourth interval between four to seven, we must travel an additional fret when the adjacent string is A, D, G, or E, and two frets higher when the adjacent string is B. Starting from the root on the low E string, we can begin to locate adjacent pairs of fourths on the E A string set. As we plot the intervals of the major scale in the fret diagram, you will find it helpful to follow along with the chart of fourths at the bottom of the screen. Moving up a fourth from the E to the A string, we can plot the following. 1 to 4, 2 to 5, and 3 to 6. Now, let's plot our fourths on the A to D string set. Due to the augmented fourth, we have to go up a fret when moving from 4 to 7, followed by 5 to 1, and finally 6 to 2. On the D to G string set, our fourths are 7 to 3, 1 to 4, and last 2 to 5. Now, we will finish identifying the last set of fourths on the B and E strings, which share a perfect fourth relationship. All fourths on this string set will be on the same fret. They are 6 to 2, 7 to 3, and 1 to 4. Now, let's consider plotting fourths across all strings at once. We will start from each of the three intervals on the low E string, which are 1, 2, and 3, and end our pattern on the top E string. You can observe the movement of fourths both in the fret diagrams as well as in the chart of fourths at the bottom. The pattern from 1 reads 1, 4, 7, 3, 6, 2. The pattern from 2 reads 2, 5, 1, 4, 7, 3. And finally, the pattern of fourths from 3 reads 3, 6, 2, 5, 1, 4. By now, you must have a pretty good idea of how to navigate in the path of fourths across all strings.
Just as important as the horizontal pattern of fourths across strings is the vertical pattern of minor and major seconds in the caged major scale shapes. At this point, we suggest that you watch Major Scale Hack to Visualize Seconds by clicking the link in the top right to learn how to recognize seconds in the caged major scale shapes. In the three notes per string pattern, however, there are a couple of additional patterns that you will not find in the cage patterns for major scales. Let's go over the pattern of seconds now. We will use the chart of fourths to easily figure out the minor second and major second scale steps within the three notes per string system. When we have three notes per string in a major scale, the interval between the notes is either a minor second followed by a major second, or a major second followed by a minor second. You will also have two consecutive major seconds, which only exists in the three notes per string scale system, but not in the cage system for major scales. Looking at our chart of fourths and reading from left to right, the first two intervals are 7 and 3. When the lowest interval on a string is 7 or 3, there is a minor second followed by a major second, as in 7, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5. Moving to 6 and 2 in our chart, we can observe that when the lowest interval on a string is 6 or 2, a major second is followed by a minor second, as in 6, 7, 1, and 2, 3, 4. From the next three intervals in our chart of fourths, which are 5, 1, and 4, we will find two major seconds back to back vertically on a string. They are 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, 6. Take a look at this fret diagram with two successive major seconds on the E, A, and D strings, followed by a minor second and major second pattern on the G and B strings. Can you figure out the starting scale degree of this scale pattern? Also, can you name the lowest intervals on all six strings? If you said that 5 is the starting scale degree in the pattern, you're correct. We have learned earlier that stacked major seconds occur on strings when the lowest interval is 5, 1, or 4. We have also seen that a minor second major second interval pattern exists on strings which have 7 and 3 as the lowest intervals. We can assume that the lowest interval on the high E string is 6, since it follows fourths 7 and 3. Let's try another example, shall we? Take a look at this scale shape. Can you guess the lowest intervals on all six strings? Observe the interval patterns on the E, A, D, G, and B, E string pairs. If you connect the dots correctly, you will find a minor second, major second pattern on the E, A strings from intervals 7 and 3, a major second, minor second pattern from intervals 6 and 2, and stacked major seconds on the B E strings from intervals 5 and 1. We can conclude that this scale shape starts on the 7th scale degree with 7, 3, 6, 2, 5, and 1 being the lowest intervals in this shape. Let's recap the interval pattern of seconds in the three notes per string major scale shapes. We have a minor second, major second pattern from intervals 7 and 3 a major second minor second pattern from intervals 6 and 2, and finally two successive major seconds from intervals 5, 1, and 4. There you have it, hacking the major scale into three notes per string system using the Nandy method. If you would like to learn how to read the entire guitar fretboard as intervals, we recommend the book Guitar Scales Unleashed. The accompanying namesake workbook will provide writing practice to help you master scale visualization with the Nandy method.